sub to carry very many of them. They carried in big hangars on top of the sub. And incidentally, if for some reason a wave comes along while you're setting up the missile, you may sink in the process. There she blows. But then there's ballistic missiles. They're real interesting. Because it turns out you can fire them while you're submerged. We also discovered that we can build a solid fuel missile that'll fly a very long distance. And also we can build very small nuclear warheads. If you put all these things together, suddenly you have this little missile that you can carry in some numbers that's quite devastating. And by the way, there's nothing anyone can do about it. Oh, interesting. In 1960, the SSBN George Washington, the world's first nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, successfully test-launched two Polaris missiles. She was now a silent strike platform, capable of launching nuclear warheads more powerful than all the bombs dropped in World War II. The Cold War produced stealth technology with awesome firepower, and the SSBN still patrol the seas in their role as deterrent. In today's fleet, attack boats like this Los Angeles class carry Tomahawk cruise missiles capable of turning left at traffic lights and hitting targets with deadly accuracy. What you have now is a very disordered world. So the role of military forces tends to be to react to things all over the place. In that kind of world, uh, submarines still have an interesting role. What a submarine really offers you as a government is it's invisible. It can go somewhere at high speed. It can hang around somewhere without aggravating a situation. If you think about a lot of crises, if you suddenly turn up with, say, a large naval force or a lot of airplanes or something like that, uh, you'll have a real effect on what happens, and it may not be the effect you wanted. The government may very well want badly to be able to decide what it does. Submarines give it the time to make that decision. Today, five nations maintain ballistic missile submarines. But though technology is ever advancing, the dangers of the deep remain. The ocean floors are littered with man's efforts to conquer the seas. Until technology makes the seas transparent, the submarine will remain the ultimate invisible force. The submarine has evolved from a primitive iron boat into the ultimate stealth platform, capable of launching nuclear warheads at targets over 4,000 miles away. No place on our planet is more than 1,400 miles from the sea. And lurking in those depths is a weapon capable of destroying an entire continent. Warship was made possible by the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation to enhance public understanding of the role of technology. The foundation also seeks to portray the lives of the men and women engaged in scientific and technological pursuit. <laughs>